back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Melissa. I make lifestyle content and lots of vlogs, productivity stuff, entrepreneurship, all of that. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. So up at 6 a.m. I did some emails this morning while I was drinking my pre-workout and I just got dressed and ready and we're about to head to the gym. for upper body my workout was 47 minutes and I burned 338 total calories 283 active average heart rate of 138 and it got up to 166 and also I really quick want to mention I've been asked so many times how I track my workouts like what I put it on and I do traditional strength training a lot of people when they go to the gym will put it on hit but that's not accurate if you're just weight training because you're taking small breaks in between your sets so if you want it to be the most accurate actually put it on traditional weight training Just got out of the shower and I am making breakfast and my coffee really quick. Made a double shot of espresso. It's now almost 10.30 and I'm about to start packing orders. I have lots of orders that came in last week that I didn't get to, a little bit behind, so I'm just gonna go into full blown order packing mode. Um, if you guys are new, I just want to mention that I have an online boutique and I want to give you guys a special discount code for watching this video. You guys can use the code YouTube and you'll get 30% off your entire order and that is site-wide so it also counts on clearance items and that's just a thank you for me for you guys supporting my small business because a lot of my sales come from you guys so thank you. Thank you. 
I just dropped off the packages at the post office and now I'm sitting outside of Starbucks. I have a hair appointment, but Tracy, my hairstylist, which is also my soon to be cousin, it's Chad's cousin. So when we get married, she'll be like my cousin-in-law. Um, if that's a thing, I don't know. <laughs> um, but she just texted me that she's running behind. So I'm just kind of sitting in my car because I want our coffees to be fresh when I bring it to her. And then she goes and texts me if I want Chick-fil-A. Like I can't turn down Chick-fil-A, so I told her to bring me waffle fries. Probably should have got like real food and not just waffle fries, but I'm not that hungry. But I know if she's eating Chick-fil-A, I'm gonna want Chick-fil-A. So I was just like, yes, bring me waffle fries. So here's what I sent her as inspiration of kind of what I wanna do with my hair. This is very similar to what my hair already looks like. It's just a lot darker on the roots. And then I just want to tone the highlights that are already in my hair, maybe add a little bit more. Um, just to give it some dimension and obviously I don't want the highlights to be like as blonde as they are right now I want them to be more like caramely. I'm just really feeling like I'm ready for fall now I don't want to go too dark on my roots because this is my natural color I haven't had to do anything with my roots because I don't go very dark with them So when it grows out it just ends up blending pretty naturally But as you can see like the highlights in my hair now are very bright and so I just want to tone those down a little bit um, so that it's less blonde looking. Wait, I actually suck right now. I just realized I didn't bring my laptop. I had it sitting right there, ready to bring with me because whenever I'm getting my hair done, you know, like you have to sit with the color on, it just takes a while, it gets boring. So I like to try to work, especially when my hair appointments are usually during the week. So I try to work while I'm getting my hair done and I didn't bring my laptop. Got the coffees, if anyone is wondering. I know she likes the brown sugar, so I just got us both iced coffee with three pumps of brown sugar, extra ice, and light cream. Just got finished at the hair salon. Here is the final product. I'm obsessed. Super subtle change. We trimmed my little layers and then she darkened my roots a little bit and then we did a color melt to just like kind of darken up the really blonde pieces in my hair and I love it. I think it turned out really, really good. It's a very subtle change, but it's exactly what I wanted. The blonde pieces are like a lot more ashier and just like less bright summertimey blonde pieces, you know, so. I'm very happy with it. I don't know where the day went, but I'm about to have this lemon basil pasta salad from Trader Joe's for dinner. I planned on making a Greek chicken salad tonight, but I do not feel like cooking the chicken. I'm feeling lazy, so we're just gonna have this because the day just went by too fast and I'm starving. Good morning, guys. It's a little bit after 6 a.m. and I am ice rolling my face. So I woke up kind of puffy this morning. And here's Trooper, if anyone's wondering. He's just... He's sleeping, he's all snuggled up. He's a sweet boy, you're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall off. Careful, you don't wanna fall off. I'm using the Herbivore Cloud Jelly Serum and then this little thing here, it's called like a Gua Sha or Gua Sha. I'm definitely saying it wrong, but it's really good to massage out the face and tighten the skin muscles. Just finished doing my hair and makeup. And I wanna show you guys my favorite lip combo these days. Also FYI, I didn't fill my eyebrows and I just brushed them out because I'm going to an eyebrow consultation appointment this morning for microblading and I am so excited. It's something I've contemplated for a while. I've talked to you guys about it for a while. Finally, I just booked the appointment. So I'm going today just for the consultation. So we're not doing anything, but just talking about it. It gives me a chance to ask questions and she can get an idea of what I want. And then um, 
as long as everything goes okay, I'm gonna schedule it. But anyway, the lip combo. Super glossy, like nude color. I'm just obsessed. So I've been using this MAC lipstick, but first I line it with this MAC um, lip liner in Spice. And then I use Teddy 2.0. This is my favorite lipstick color of all time. I have the regular Teddy one, and then I also have the Teddy 2.0. And then last but not least is this e.l.f. Um, lip plumping gloss. It's just like the perfect finish to top it off and make it glossy. Hey, can I please do a grande iced coffee? Yep. With three pumps of vanilla and extra ice. No classic syrup. A shot of espresso. Yep. <laughs> and cream on the side. All right, will that be all? Uh, yes, that's all. I feel so annoying with my very extra coffee order. It's not, honestly, that difficult of a drink to make. Like, it's pretty simple, but it just is like a mouthful because I want the extra ice and I want cream on the side. And then today I decided to add a shot because I didn't finish my shot of espresso at home. I like ran out of time and I need to hurry up. Guys, I've been listening to this podcast that is very slowly but surely changing my life. And I'm sure everyone's heard of it. It's a very popular podcast, but I had not listened to it before. It is called The Mindset Mentor. And this guy, he does all kinds of really good podcast episodes they're all like less than 20 minutes and they just give you something to think about they're very positive and i feel like it's just like really like affecting me in the best way possible it's just kind of shifting my mindset it's making me think about my future and what i want in terms of my business and I have, you know, these two other things that I'm working on really big right now besides the boutique because I want to have multiple streams of income. These are like things that are important to me. Hi, good. How are you? You too. <laughs> okay, I just parked and I'm about to go in and get my eyebrow consultation. I don't even know what this is going to consist of. I know she's not mapping out my eyebrows yet. She said that takes a while, so that will be done like at the visit, but we're just going to talk about what my eyebrow goals are and for me I honestly just want my eyebrows brought in just a little bit I want them to look a little fuller and I want them to be like already filled in basically obviously it's a point of microblading so you don't have to fill them in so subtle changes but you know it'll be such a big deal for me just finished my appointment you guys I am so excited I didn't make my coffee because I didn't want to like walk in there with a coffee and not have one for her. I don't know, I feel like that's rude. She is so freaking sweet. Her name's Karina. We had a whole discussion. I think I was in there for actually 40 minutes and we talked about everything. She showed me pictures. I'm gonna be doing the hybrid method. So she's gonna go in and do the microblading throughout. My goal is to bring my eyebrows in a little bit and then obviously just fill them in and make them look more fuller. We are not gonna go super dark or super bold. She said the time to darken them and you know fill them in more will be during that touch up appointment. She likes to start out, you know, just like natural to begin with because you can't really undo this it's like a tattoo so we're gonna do um fill them in throughout microblading and then she's gonna do like the hybrid which is just like the filling it in uh in the ends and like the middle my new jeans just came in from abercrombie so i wanted to do like a little try on and show you guys because whenever i do hauls i never show you what the fit actually is so these ones are the 90s relaxed jeans and i am so happy with the fit of these they're actually like all the way to the ground, but not too long like my Goldie ones. And they're actually really, really comfortable and really good quality. And these ones are the ultra high rise cropped wide leg and they're just basic black, like washed out color. And I'm obsessed with these. I really needed a new pair of plain black ones. And these are so much more comfortable than my other pair. I'm gonna link them both in the description. My eyes hate me. We all already knew that though. So I couldn't handle it anymore. I had to put my glasses on. Chad just got home. He's bringing all his CPR stuff inside. I guess he's teaching a CPR class tomorrow. So he has a bunch of CPR dummy, like baby dolls in his backseat. I told him that if anyone saw that, they would probably think it was really creepy because like a grown man with a bunch of baby dolls in his backseat. Anyway, Chad got us Jersey Mike's for lunch and I'm starving, so cheers. I was like getting in a bad mood and I think it's just cause I haven't eaten. Like the last hour after I like showed you guys the jeans, I've just been sitting at my desk, like scrolling on my phone, like just like in a bad mood for no reason. And now that Chad just came home with food, I realize it's cause I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't keep the